CTE Pro 1 True Series, video 29, Diaf Tip Pivot. I'm going to shoot a couple of basic CTE shots, each with a half tip pivot. I'm also going to use a couple different shafts. One shaft is a 12.75, a Steve Lomax Custom Maple. It's a great shaft, I highly recommend it. Uh, the other shaft that I'm going to use is an experimental shaft made by Steve Lomax. It's a 14.85. Each of these shafts, the 12.75 and the 14.85, work perfectly to objectively pocket this ball with the same basic CTE directions. Now this video is not intended to cover the entirety of basic CTE. If you want that, you can go to my True Series on my YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing to that. Or you can check out my book on JustCueit.com. Center pocket music using uh, CTE Pro 1 to improve your cool game. The uh, cue ball location for the setup is one and a half diamonds up from the center diamond here. And the object ball is at the one diamond, one diamond intersection. Now, this is a this shot requires a 30 degree perception. It requires an inside pivot. Why does it require an inside pivot? Because the way this ball is seen from a perfect 30 degree perception uh, will reveal that it's thick to the pocket. So it must have that inside pivot, which will give you a perfect center cue ball alignment is a slight overcut to center which will yield a very professional entry into the pocket. Now, shaft size does not matter. The thin shaft or the thick shaft both work the same. What matters is that you learn how to use your vision correctly. When you learn how to use your vision correctly, then your bridge V can follow what your eyes are seeing so that your bridge V can be on the shot line. See, the bridge V starts out as a half tip pivot just beside the inside of the sight line, but it is ever so slightly tweaked from that position to be on the stepped center. So that's why various shaft sizes work just fine with basic CTE. So, for this 30 degree perception in basic CTE, I'm going to go down on the sight line. Then I'm going to see the perfect perception with my uh, bridge V and tip about a half tip to the inside of the sight line. Once I see the perfect perception, I'm going to shift my attention to the inside half of the cue ball so that that sight line center changes. Now, my bridge V is tweaked to be on that center. And then from there, all I have to do is shoot straight down that line. Now for the 14.85 shaft, I'll follow the same basic CTE directions. I see the 30 degree perception here. I'm going to go down by way of the sight line. My head will be shifted to the left to be in parallax so that I can view the perfect sight line. So I'm at parallax here. There's the perfect sight line, which means I have the perfect perception. Now, I look at the inside half of the cue ball, specifically the outermost tick or edge for the inside half that gives me a new center. I tweak my bridge speed to be exactly on that center and then I stroke exactly down that line. Now, when I step the cue ball, when I step the cue ball and see that outermost edge, and then I tweak my bridge V to be on that new center that we get. That new center is 90 ticks away from that outermost edge. So, if you'd like to learn more about basic CTE, you can do so on my 
Truth Series, and you can certainly do so by studying my book. My book can be checked out at justcuit.com. Thank you very much. Happy New Year, everybody.